now, 10 News at 6 continues. Almost 98 years to the day after the Titanic set sail, Titanic Pigeon Forge is taking her maiden voyage. The 30,000 square foot attraction was christened in true nautical fashion this morning with Regis Philbin doing the honors. With more than 400 artifacts and passenger stories, it's a permanent memorial to the Titanic's 2,200 passengers and crew. Because they really have spared nothing to make it authentic. So it uh, really does honor to the Titanic and all the families who were aboard. To build something like this, I'm telling you, it's going to be an enormous hit. People are going to come and come back again because you really can't absorb it all in one tour. The grand opening festivities continue through the weekend with live entertainment, including country star Neil McCoy. Well, Todd, we saw... Well, it was a rainy day in Pigeon Forge to welcome the Titanic to the volunteer state. The good news is there were no icebergs. <laughs> People huddled together under umbrellas to watch the christening of the newest attraction in Pigeon Forge. Not only was Regis Philbin there to host the grand opening, but the day included actors straight from the Broadway show Titanic. We will have much more on today's events coming up on Volunteer TV News at 5 and 6 o'clock. Pretty cool stuff having yeah, everybody here. Looking forward to it. It is neat. The uh, owners of the Titanic Museum are former television producers, so they happen to know some big names in the business like Like uh, who better than to uh, invite but Regis Philbin. Sure. Not too bad at all. He was there to christen the ship. Volunteer TV's Amber Miller sat down with Regis to find out more about his trip. It's fantastic. I mean, I thought the other two were great, but this is the best one yet. With that vote of confidence, Regis Philbin says he expects Pigeon Forge's newest attraction to be a success. Philbin christened the last Titanic Museum in Branson, Missouri, where more than two million visitors have gotten on board since 2006. There's so many artifacts in here and, and so much to see and absorb, and everybody, you know, is fascinated by that whole Titanic story after that big hit movie 10 years ago. The morning talk show host told us he didn't mind helping John Jocelyn, the owner, open this new museum. When you live in New York City, you are there in the middle of all that concrete and noise and traffic and and howling uh, sirens, and uh, it's good to be out there, out here. Plus, it gave him a chance to visit an old friend's place. Yes, he stopped by Dollywood to check it out. I didn't realize Dollywood was up, <laughs> walk up a hill, you know, to get to the top. And I have uh, just received a new hip a few months ago, and so I felt it going up there, but it was uh, spectacular. That trip was brief, so he could focus on his purpose, selling you and me on why we should visit the Titanic. The little, the little stories around you here, uh, for example, the, the fellow on deck looking out at the ocean at night spotted this tremendous iceberg and then called it, it, called it out there, but 37 seconds later... Much more from uh, that interview with Regis Philbin coming up later on. We did ask Regis what's the next big thing coming up for him. He said that he, to look for a special Regis and Kelly show that will celebrate the halfway point until Halloween. That'll be interesting to see. And, of course, you can watch Regis and Kelly right here on WVLT and CBS weekdays at 9 a.m. Yeah, so uh, has your head been feeling a bit heavier? They marked the grand opening and christening of the newest attraction right here in East Tennessee. I christen the ship, the Titanic, for a smooth sail in the city of Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Well, you might recognize that voice, huh? The Titanic Museum and Attraction welcome passengers aboard to live the experience. That, of course, Regis Philbin. He hosted the event in Pigeon Forge along with actors straight from the Broadway musical. And the fun didn't stop there. They also had fireworks and trips through the museum attraction for the first time. Uh, it's very interactive. Uh, even from the first room, we have buttons to press. If it looks like you can touch it, touch it. If we don't want you to touch it, it's behind a glass. So uh, touch, feel, experience, laugh, cry. Uh, you'll love it. Coming up at 6 o'clock, our coverage continues as we show you the exact replica of the Grand Staircase and what it's like to be a part of the Titanic experience. Certainly exciting. Looking forward to heading out there. Should be neat. We were on a cruise last week, and you wonder how big was that ship compared to the, yeah. the ones of modern day? They say about the same size. Pretty interesting. So pretty interesting stuff. Rescuers, rescuers. You don't expect much from museums, but this takes you through the whole process. Hi, Regis. But first, if you want to get a little taste of history, a new museum is giving you just that with all hands on deck. 
Lord, East Tennessee's own Titanic Museum is now open. This is the best exhibit of the Titanic I've ever seen. And, of course, even Regis was here to celebrate. We're taking you for the Insider Tour next. Believe it or not, the Titanic is docked right here in the Volunteer State. Can't wait to see it. With plenty of water to keep it afloat, the Titanic Museum attraction welcomed passengers aboard for the very first time. Volunteer TV's Whitney Kent was there dodging raindrops and has more. Whitney? Thank you very much, Alan and Allison. And it was truly a very special day out there in Pigeon Forge with special guests. First-hand look of what this ship had to offer. Very, very exciting. Just before the Smokies, among a sea of umbrellas, the Titanic welcomed passengers all aboard in Pigeon Forge during grand opening celebrations. We have uh, Regis Philbin here, of course, as officiating. Going to christen the ship with the captain today. And you know, we've got a major choir this morning. And we've got uh, uh, the musical people from Titanic the Play from Knoxville are down this morning. Going to provide a number. And got the Scottish Rites Band. I mean, boy, I mean, that's a pretty exciting day. We caught up with Regis to see what he had to say about the big day. They've done a wonderful job here. This is the best exhibit of the Titanic I've ever seen. And when you come here and when you take a walk through this, all of a sudden you feel like you're part of the ship, you know? You get involved with the ship. You feel like you're a passenger. Not only do you feel like you're a part of the ship, but you can even interact with the crew and passengers. Uh, along with myself, there are several other character actors, and we just walk around the ship and we uh, can inform you about anything of the Titanic you'd like to know. We've all studied extensively and uh, just love this ship. We met up with a first-time passenger who gave us her take on things. It was a great experience. I'm a big history buff, so I liked it a lot. I've seen the movie several times. The interactive stuff was neat, like dry, getting to steer the boat and touch the iceberg and everything like that. That was a good experience, and it was neat to see how cold the water was. So, Regis, what do you have to say about all this? I think it's great. I think it's marvelous that you can come to a museum like this and not expect, you don't expect much from museums, but this takes you through the whole process, not only building it, but experiencing the ride as well. And Regis has a great point. It is fun and it's an interesting place for folks of all ages to go. And the neat thing is when you leave, you take away the day of fun, of course, and some knowledge with you. I encourage all of you to check it out. I'm telling you, you won't be.